Who's ready to fly? Yeah! Hey, welcome to Mesa RC Foam Fires. I got Ashton here. Hey. Um, we're doing the uh, a tip series. So after our, our last two videos, we got a couple of emails about how we go about doing our, our spray paint. And with the, the Dollar Tree Foam Board, the Dollar Tree Foam Board can get pretty nasty with spray paint, right? Yeah, it, it's, uh, yeah, it depends on what kind of foam board you have. We used to do the old foam board, which was the Elmer's, and it, uh, it did a lot better with the foam board, but now we have this stuff. So, so Dollar Tree stuff has got that thin paper on the tip of it um, that you know that we're all accustomed to, and this stuff, you know, if you get it soaked at all, it will peel up. Um, so we we like we tend to keep our scraps for a while, and even scraps um, from the laser cutter, which is like this stuff right here, because we can use it even like plain designs like this or. Uh, let's see, like this kind of stuff. This stuff is really good to use. Yeah, and you'll see what it, it's got a bunch of different angles. Yeah, a bunch of different angles and stuff. Now, what we start with first, and, and the reason why I have Ashley in here is because Ashley's working on his new project, and why don't you talk about it? All right, so we have the front end here of a new plane I'm designing. It's uh, we're going to call it the MF Typhoon, the MF Eurofighter, uh, Typhoon Eurofighter. Uh, it, but it is based on the Eurofighter Typhoon. Um, so we have the front end here, and we have the wing here. Cool. Uh, so yeah. And so how, how, how far are you in your creation design process right um, now? There is a, we have a general outline of the actual plane. Like this is, this is definitely the most completed section of the plane, this is the wing. Cool. Awesome, that, so, so look for that to come. That's gonna be really exciting to see this plane here. Yeah possible two designs yeah. in one year, which is a first for Mesa. Um, so we have his plane here, and we're gonna do a little demo on it first. Um, so what you do, we tend to stay around the Krylon stuff to this Rust-Oleum. Um, any type of flat paint works awesome. It's when you start to get into like the semi-gloss and gloss, you have to be careful. Um, especially when we, when we tell our students, you know, Anytime you use uh, a glossy type of material or a gloss type of spray paint, you want to make sure that when you first do your initial spray painting, that you throw a light layer down on top of the foam board with masks, with glasses, obviously. But for our sake of this demo, real fast, just so that you get the paper covered with it, so it's almost like a primer, and then you can come back again and go over another coat let it dry, and then come back again with another coat. And that will prevent it from bubbling up. So as you can see here, you get yourself a nice looking finish. Now, the big popular scheme that we were working on was, um, that people really liked and how we did it, was that kind of urban camouflage that yeah. we did for Clara's, that we did for Jack's quad. And you have it on your... Uh, your yeah, we did it on um, our, our 3D flyer that we have. Um, and so, this is how you do it. You pick your color, whatever color it might be, and you do it the whole base coat. So we put the whole base coat as, as orange. And then, of course, you gotta, you gotta rock some you know, Mesa stencil or something. And so we throw that down on there, and it's pretty much just throwing trash, right? Yeah, like we got some uh, nice, I think, control horn wood. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, don't know, I don't know what these are, but. These are um, like, yeah, little control horns. And then you just set it down, maybe get like the airplane, like the back of the airplane, no, let's go here. And uh, like this tip here would look really cool. Okay. Like the tip of this canopy we were working on for the Eurofighter. That'd be cool. What else do we got? Uh, we have some little support pieces of an FT plane. Cool, just lay it on there. Yeah. And so kind of the idea is that you just lay it down Maybe on there. Maybe the stabilizer. And, um, yeah, so, so you have whatever orange you have, just, or whatever pieces that you have, just throw it on there. 
You got it? Yeah. And so we're picking a black to be our overlay. Try to stay on top. And we just do a light coat. And then come back again, heavy. And you want to try to stay at the same angle or else you will paint over your stuff. And then you can immediately take off your stuff. And then the logo, since we covered most of it up, I'll probably go in and just do a little bit of just around the edge. And now you got that kind of cool looking urban feel. Uh -huh. Cool. All right, well, if you guys have any other suggestions, feel free to email us. We love seeing your guys' comments. Um, this was a cool one. We, we, we figured we'd get some, some people wanting to, to ask about the, this, the paint scheme and how we do it. Um, and painting can ruin or make your plane. Yeah. Uh, we've seen a lot of students in the class just drench their planes after spending a couple weeks on it um, with paint and it's ruined. So you gotta be really careful. Uh, but other than that, uh, thanks Ashton for accompanying me in this, this tip series. Yeah. And uh, we'd love to see your guys' plane ideas and your paint schemes that you do on your planes um, in your, you know, your garage basement to show off. So thanks for watching.